Welcome to the Sideline Podcast. Yo. Yeah, episode four. We've had a little bit of a break because we've added a new member, Rob. Robbie Kavanaugh. Hey guys, thanks for having me. It's a real pleasure to be on full time now. It's a pleasure to have you, Rob. We're very happy to have your wide range of knowledge on uh, paint drying. Um, yeah, well, <laughs> thanks for telling me something I already know. I know yeah. I'm very good when it comes to sports, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. and cricket. Mainly mm. cricket. AKA okay, paint drying. Yeah, paint drying, yeah. You guys are full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to mimic me. <laughs> yeah. This is how we're going to start. Let's, let's start this all right. So the first topic Yeah, is, let's move on. We're going to talk about the A-League Derby. The Derby. The Derby. The Derby. derby. The potato, 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 tomato, tomato. Derby. <laughs> so, the this derby. happened a while ago, right? Yeah, a long time ago. Three, three weeks? Yep. Mm. We last made our predictions and... We were way off. To say the we least. were way off, yeah. I'm sick of saying that. <laughs> Deja vu was <laughs> uh, third, third time. time we've recorded this. Oh, yep. um, yeah, so we were we were wrong. All of us were wrong. Very I'm pretty wrong. sure I said three nil victory. I'm pretty sure I said like five nil. <laughs> oh, wouldn't be so. Oh yeah, you uh, did. After you did. Our, you yeah. said we'd get pummeled. Yeah, after our signings, I thought we were going to get smashed. How, how good, and yeah. I've given a lot of shit to Richard Delayet, but he has been absolutely class. How about that goal he scored on Friday night? Yeah, he was a ripper. Like. Which you guys missed? He's going to be our top goal scorer, <laughs> and he's a right back. Just sleep that under the rug. What's wrong? <laughs> was the performance a result of City uh, playing good or victory playing bad? A uh, mix. Mix. It's, it's both teams playing poor at times, and it's also the fact that the AR had a bit of a hand in the result. So it was a mix of all three things. It yeah, is. And it we're, we're going to talk about VAR a bit later on. So we'll leave the VAR for now, but we, we, everyone knows that VAR was a bit... Off. It was off. Off that night. Um, so, Sydney... Moving on to the week after, Sydney. we lost 3-0, we looked tired. We Lackluster. Looked... Correct, that's a good word. <laughs> Where'd you learn that word? Uh, the Moving Oxford on. Dictionary. Miss Van Winden? No, no, <laughs> that porky pie. Um, yeah, bad game. It was, it was, and I'm glad I didn't go. Well, yeah, so am I. <laughs> we uh, spent a whole week voting for the goal song and then we didn't even kick a goal to hear the song. And then when what's the goal... The, and... What's the new goal song? Zombie Nation. Oh, 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 oh. You don't like it? I think you should just edit that in. Yeah. Nah. I'm going to leave it. I'm a good singer. I want to hear my voice on a good quality audio. I've never done it before. Just get around yourself a bit. Though. Yeah. I'd like to get around myself. <laughs> Maybe on the week after. Uh, Wellington. Oh, Wellington. Everyone went. Yeah. Us all four. The Sideline Podcast First all went time. to the Woo! game. Woo! Sideline Podcast at the game. <laughs> First A-League game of the year. For me. For you. For me as well. It was my first game. Isn't your well. second A League game as well. no, it's of first. all time? Uh, yeah. yeah. So yeah, it was. No, not for you. Derby. Derby? <laughs> let's not let's not mention the roast about? beef roll as well, Jack. Oh the know. roast beef roll. Yeah. Yeah, yeah if we can Weird. give you if we can give you any tips at Amy Park, don't avoid the roast beef roll. As I, I, all cost. I No, don't avoid the roast no, beef roll. Too much. I made an absolute No, U-turn. but it's worth the it's worth the money, it's good. It's better than that hot dog shit. Look, let's be honest, I spent I spent like Did you try it? Yeah, I took some of his. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, let's talk, let's about, talk about the game, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's all right. We can talk about whatever we want. It's our podcast. Sure. I think we're, we're, we're vetoing here. <laughs> Everyone just chill out, you know. <laughs> we're just so talking. How good? It's a lot, it's a lot it's better when it's a lot free-flowing. Yeah. When we talk like robots, it's not as good. How good was So, back, back, getting back to the roast beef roll. No, what do you, well, you don't know. How, good <laughs> 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 How about Fauna Rolly's goal? Not as good as not as good as the lights, but... It's still a very classy finish from El Tuna. Yeah, just, just <laughs> El Tuna like. What's wrong, Tom? What's wrong with El Tuna? <laughs> All right. Well, well, we missed the first goal. Well, K Dog and I missed the first goal. Well, that's you know. your fault. You idiots decided to get a drink. Yeah, it's five minutes in. That's because we were. Happening, yeah. Well, nothing happening until they kicked a the goal. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't have been any more happy for you guys to miss it. Yeah, it's your fault. Both of you losers were. Not drinking. Because I'll drive. drive. We have oh, we were driving. Oh, we don't drink, drive. Oh. Yeah. 
okay. Fair enough. Okay. Well, that was a great. It was a great result. And it was a good result. It was a good game. It's to good go to and get watch. the three points because following that loss the other week, I think our confidence was down. So yeah, I quite frankly thought we were going to draw nil all, but. Mm. Well, someone told me that Cato actually enjoyed himself. Yeah, I did actually enjoy well, myself. From it was a good experience, you know. We did the Remembrance Day stand up and And will you be coming again? Ah, uh, yeah. And will you join in the terrace? <laughs> what's the terrace? If his face is as <laughs> red as a tomato, he'll be there. He'll be in the terrace, that's right. Yeah. yeah. All they right. weren't singing the songs though. Yeah. It was well, quiet. It was very oh, they weren't quiet. playing the songs. Bit of controversy. Yeah. Yeah. Tonight they did the same oh, was it tonight? No, it wasn't tonight. Was it yesterday? It was yesterday they did the same thing for victory. The Remembrance Day thing. And um they still delayed the game to play their song, but they wouldn't play our song. How ridiculous is that? Same stadium. Special treatment. Special treatment for the champions. Exactly right. That's, that's Let's awesome. move on to some better soccer. How about that? Football. Yeah. Better football. Mm. The Premier League. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> disappointing result last night, wasn't it, Jack? Yeah. City edging out at they, the top. Yeah. Still. They, we looked good in spades, but... Overall, City are just a class above everyone else. Yeah, from oh. what I saw, City were all over you. Yeah, it was. I want to get your thoughts on the Mohamed Salah goal in the first half. That was... Yeah, that well... Was, that was pretty it funny. It was a debatable, was. debatable offside. It was smart thinking from Alisson to play on straight away, so... I mean, yeah, well, took, there's, also, the there's also controversy there that yeah. he didn't play the ball from the correct spot. No, I, I don't think he did, but he got away with that. No, uh, you can't really pull him back on that anyway. Oh, well, they right. weren't awake. It was their fault. Mohamed Salah runs down the whole field and scores. Mo Good Salah. goal. We we're Mo only playing form anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But no, it don't. did allow us to go ahead on Chelsea a bit more because they, they dropped points against they, Everton. And they, they were very unlucky. I don't know if you saw Murata, those highlights. They had the Maratta goal as well, getting ruled out offside. That was touching. The Maratta goal and Alonso hit the post like yeah. three times. They, they destroyed them. Yeah. But Everton, um, who's the Brazilian guy? Uh, Richarlson. Oh, no, 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 not Richarlson. No, no, oh, Bernard, Bernard. Yeah, Bernard. Yeah, Bernard got the ball and he was literally on his own one on one with the goalkeeper, shit himself and air swung and hit the ball with the back of his with yeah. the back of his heel and it went out. Mate, he's tiny. That's small. Is... Yeah, he's small, but he's also bad. He yeah. Um now moving on to something that was a bit controversial during the week. Matic. Nemanja Matic uh not wearing the poppy. Os yeah. How would you guys feel if someone decided they weren't going to wear the poppy for Remembrance Day in the A-League? Well, if they've got a reason that is respectable, such as Matic's wear, you know... Yeah, Matic yeah. did have a good reason, actually. Yeah, he did. Because if he was wearing the poppy, then he'd be supporting the, the people that bombed his family. So... Yeah. That's actually understandable. I mean, yeah, he's... I wouldn't... I, would you wear a poppy if it supported... No. Uh, like if ISIS? I was... If no, if you. I was in, no. it's a bit extreme, Tom. But yeah, well, I can see it. where you're coming from. Why would you? Um, wear, why would you wear something that supports yeah. the enemy? I mean, it's yeah. pretty confronting for a 12 year old to see bombs being dropped on your home and village. You're referring to Matic mm. as a child. Matic, yeah, but I, a 12 year old. I, this has also just come to me. I didn't say this before, but the poppy also isn't like. So you've got to remember that these, the men that we're, the men and women that we're remembering, they, you know, they didn't have a choice. They were. I mean, in, war, in World War One, they were, you know, conscripted, they, so they, they had to do had that to sort do of it. stuff. Like, yeah, they had to kill choice, people. So. And even in World War Two, some people were... Um, still compulsory, yeah. Yeah. So, he might be angry at what the government did, and I'm, I completely agree when it comes to war and stuff that the government, you know, they point fingers and then everyone else has to do all the t terrible, horrible things. But it's not those people, and you got to remember those people who did pass away. Yeah. So you think Matic? Should NATO be I don't like think. Like, but then is he even angry? Yeah. You said he was angry. Is he angry? He wasn't. He's angry. not angry. He no, was just. He wanted to get his reason out there. And mm. the thing is, NATO was a completely different beast to what the soldiers in World War One, World War Two. NATO. Were. Mm. They are the people that dropped the bomb on Matic village. He's, yeah. So. so he has a fair reason, and you know what? It doesn't matter who you are. It, Poppy can, represents. People who lost their lives for uh, freedom of speech and just freedom in general. So Fighting for your country. If you want to do, you can just do whatever you want to do because of those people. So the poppy represents that. You can do whatever you want with it. But fair play to Matic. Not, not fair play. That's Well, no. He, he, fair play for him You know, yeah, standing yeah. up for what I he believes. I was trying to think of another word, but it's no, a respectable reason. He's a, I would say that's fair He's play. a very mild-mannered man. And yeah. He's, yeah. He has all rights to do that. And, he has mm. a great and I think a lot of people agree with us. But there's just a select few that are 
obviously that you're gonna have them, you're gonna have these guys or girl like girls that also aren't fans of um, the, the situation where he didn't wear the poppy. Mm. I think everyone's just entitled to their own opinion. Yeah. Just. Like... <laughs> well, that's funny. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> moving on. Uh, moving on to the <laughs> VAR. What um, are you laughing about? <laughs> All right, let's get this show on the road. What, what's um, up there? Moving on to the VAR on the weekend. So we have, a, we have a very interesting view on this because we, have, we, we live in a country where the league already has VAR employed. So we've seen it in action. We all think it's great. I don't. Well, I'm not a fan of the VAR. What do you disagree? Are you joking? <laughs> How do you, why do you disagree with it? It's just, oh, it's just so. What making the right call, making sure the call is right. It's not. It's not that. It's just like it's what we're, it's the technology. It's I. I'm more of a traditionalist with this sort of stuff. So, um, you know, it's the referee on the pitch should be the one that makes the decision, not people. So you're about tradition I'm, rather than making sure the call is right. I just think the referees, the referees, they get so much money. They get paid so much money. You know, to make these calls that you'd be expecting them to make the calls that are being expected to be made. So, you know, if if you miss an offside or if you miss a handball, you've got to be expecting these referees to be, you know, calling these decisions. They're training, you know, week in, week out for this stuff. It, it, was it the Stoke game? I keep forgetting. It's is the it? Sunderland. It's no the South Southampton. The referee had, Southampton what, he had refereed four the, games beforehand, like previous to that match. Like five, professionally, I, think I believe so. So why thing, would the why would the league put such a unprofessional? The thing is referee? though. The thing is though. No, but he, this is four Premier go. League matches. It was this touch is and not, go. My it Yo- was like four matches ever. My Yoshida won. My oh, Yoshida. got to start yeah, somewhere. Okay. Yeah. The thing is that wasn't even a. It was touch and go because my Yoshida was in an offside position, and you've also got a question: Was he in the way of Ben Foster, the Watford goalkeeper? That yeah, well, that's why it soccer's. Uh, the rules are subjective sometimes. And with the VAR, I think it should be there for assisting the referee, Not for but I don't think it should replace a referee. Exactly. Exactly. Which is what it does. Which yeah. is what it does in our league. It is. It's, it's there to assist the referee. It's way too overwhelming. But the little finicky rules that, you know, as we saw in the victory game, you can't check. You can only check, uh, you know, Two black or white things. Is it inside the box? Is it outside the box? Or is it a free kick? Is it not a free kick? As we and the VAR person up in the box will tell you, you know, that was inside the box. I want you to have a look at it. Referee will go have a look. If it's inside the box, even though it wasn't a free kick, it's a penalty now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, obviously... And we saw in the grand final, they... This is, so this is... Um, so the referee needs to work with the VAR as well because... The, v- the VAR can't do it all by itself, obviously. Even last year, the grand- in the grand final, they f- like five victory players were offside when they scored the goal. Oh, they still can. And they went up into the box and looked at the footage, and then they said that hit- they were onside. Like they they gave it the all clear. That's one there. One of the other reasons why I'm not a fan of it. Yeah, I mean that's a bit biased though, obviously, because we hate victory. <laughs> but even though I'm um, yeah. Even though o- overall, I think VAR is good, but it just needs to be ironed out a little bit more and made sure that it's, you know, up to the standard. Well, yeah. But that'll happen throughout the years anyway, because it's, well, only, it's only in its second year of the A-League and it hasn't even been introduced into the Premier League yet. Well, so gonna... Charlie Austin just needs to calm, because yeah, well, he did after the rest all... of the season's going to be refereed the same way, and it's the same for everyone else. So Well, yeah. You know, it's not like some games have VAR and some games don't. Yeah. yeah but you can s- see why he was fired up. I mean, that was such an important game for them. Yeah, I mean, they like that was that has become their. Yeah, well, just look the at the whole the whole A League was decided last year from a VAR fail. The whole thing. That was a boring yeah, game but final. That's he he ranted directly after the game. Yeah, he did. He labelled it. I mean, it, that's yeah. and that's the most games in a row that what, Southampton have lost at home in a season or something like that. No, it was a draw. It was a draw. It was one all. Oh, yeah, okay. it yeah. was. He labelled. Yeah, he labelled it a joke, and he also said the officials cost them two points. So, I mean, yeah, obviously he's going to probably get a fine from that. But you know, it's good to see players fired up and showing that. Has emotion. he said anything about the 
the game afterwards after that rant on Twitter or anything? No. 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 I know of no. All right. Moving back into America now. NBA. For America. Some NBA. <laughs> yeah. All right. So many things have happened since. A rose is a rose. Si- <laughs> a rose is always a rose. Um, so many things have happened while we've we've been away. Uh, firstly, Clay Thompson broke the three point record in hey, uh, <laughs> two, two and a half quarters. Clay, Clay Thompson is just an unbelievable player. He's the type of player that can get you forty or fifty points in a quarter. Yeah, but then he can also play the next game and miss. He's in, so inconsistent. That's. But, but what, what was the stat before? Before that game, he yeah, that had. He was like like, his three point percentage was like twenty like like percent or something. He was two from nine, I'm pretty sure, from mm. the field. Yeah, um, he was terrible behind the line. So, and then the game after that, he hits. It was against Chicago. Let's. It was like it was against Chicago. Let's not beat around the bush. Point, three point shooting is still sort of a skill that you know it doesn't like it doesn't matter who your opponent is if you can shoot three pointers. Exactly what I've got in my uh, arsenal. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, Rob. Not yeah, well, he so, doesn't have dunks. I'll tell you that for now. Yeah, well, he doesn't getting, need, I can he touch. Doesn't need to. I can touch he gets three ring. points for staying outside and shooting from there. Why would he go inside and dunk? Who? <laughs> me or Clay? Are we talking Yo, about me or yourself, Clay? Rob. Clay. I was talking about Rob. Oh, you were talking about Rob. <laughs> Clay, <laughs> Clay, talking Clay, about Clay. Clay shots at Rob. Oh, taking shots at Rob. Yeah. yeah. No, oh. Clay no, but Rob can't shoot threes either. Remember? Do you remember the grand final where Rob was shooting threes and I was? He was basically passing the ball Did to we me. We win or lose? We won. How about the charge? We won, game. but I scored like 12 points all from Rob's oh. air ball three-pointers we that I just team. grabbed out of the air. How about just... the charge I, that we got called for me? That was the ja- game-changing moment. Oh, weren't you? Oh, no, that was, yeah, that was the Jackson yeah. and Luca team. You guys fuck. were in the team where you lost. Yeah, fuck yeah. you. Right. Moving oh, on well, from that. <laughs> Derek Rose. Derek Rose. Unbelievable. My favourite player think, at the moment. I think everyone can agree here that that's really... I think it's an inspiration. Oh, it's a great inspiration, moment yeah. to come out of the, this season so far. I mean... I remember growing up as a Miami Heat fan. He um, he was uh, he was in sorry, his Sorry, growing up as a Miami Heat fan. Who do you follow now? Uh, the Charlotte Hornets. <laughs> Bam, <Wayne>. Yes. <laughs> who do you go for? Tom, who do you go for? Lakers. Okay. <laughs> Don't, Don't since stop. 98. Don't ask my talk. mother. Stop. Yes, you it's cannot. legit. I have but merchandise. Stop. You you went for the Rockets no, last year. You went shit, boy. I talked about the Rockets. I didn't go for them. <laughs> no, <laughs> you went for the Rockets. You, just... you 100% went for the Rockets. Uh, let's keep... Uh, what, what anyway, uh, bandwagons. Loyal, I think. Yeah, like is since since you know, since, like since you started playing off. basketball. Yeah. Since Come on, since the and the most loyal guy of all time, me. Since like year seven, Timberwolves. No, not year seven. They're not looking no. good. And the Timberwolves. We've been four shit and nine for four a long and time, and we're shit again. Second last, is it? Second or third last in the Western Conference? So it's not looking the greatest. Yeah, we've also it had. It is. It is only thirteen games in though. Yeah, thirteen games in, and we've had a player on our team who did not want to win games. Well, at least Derek. Rose. But You've we'll got, move into that in a second. That. Right now, we're talking about Derek Rose, who is an inspiration to all sports people coming back from two knee injuries. 50-point game against the Jazz. Unbelievable. And he hasn't hit... Included seven three-pointers. Mm. His three-pointer percentage is almost 45%, where in the past it's been a mere 30... The, against the Kings. A mere 30%. Also against the Lakers, too. Yeah, against the Lakers. And against the Kings this weekend, he hit eight from ten the thirty, Yeah, the 30-point game he had against the Lakers. He missed the game-winning shot, but that, you know... He's he did so much that game you can't really be pointing yeah. the finger at him like yeah. So I think the thing about you know Derek Rose is that I think I him? think I feel he's gotten over these mental demons like let's not lie he, from all the injuries he's had in the past he's got to have at times a feel of self doubt self doubt maybe a bit of. You know, but that's why that's why I think it's so inspirational. It is. Like he's it's a great been comeback. Through so much shit. Like he's been across so many teams that have just tossed him aside. He's had it. He's and he's finally like you know, bef- like the Timberwolves were, were said were told when when we signed Rose. The Wolves took a chance on him. We took a chance on him, but we were also told that we were nuts. making the, making a big big mistake, and like, the front office were crazy. Yeah, and it's really coming back to bite. Everyone who's said well, that. Well, the Cavaliers just let him go. And it, when he he's, was, ca- he's carrying us at the moment. Yeah, where do you Cat's think? Been, Cat's been average at best. Butler's Wiggins. inconsistent. Wiggins got injured yeah, and has so. just been inconsistent. Hey, uh, Wiggins is always inconsistent. But Derek Rose is you know, dropping monster numbers. Where do you think he sits in the rankings of players? Is he in the top 10? Oh, top it's, too no, it's too early to tell. It's too early to tell. But 
the way he's going, he could end up in the top ten. Yeah. Well, well is I'd, is LeBron number one still? No. Steph, no. Steph, no. Well, Steph if we're Curry. going on the start of this season, it's Jokic. got to be Steph. Steph Curry's up there. Steph Jokic Curry. is Jokic. putting up monster numbers. But why? Why isn't it LeBron? Jokic is, Jokic is killing it for the. Jokic is getting triple doubles. He's going to get a quadruple double what was this that, year. Tom, sorry? Why is it not LeBron? What's he doing wrong? Well, he plays for the Lakers. But the Lakers are a good team. The Lakers not aren't really. even that bad. The Lakers aren't even that bad, though. I but mean, they're not good. that good. They beat us by, like, what, five points in the last quarter, and we suck ass. And, and they've mean? got LeBron. Like, you were saying but, the other day, Rob, that the Lakers need to sign another big name. They do, and they almost got Paul George in the offseason. Yeah. Would you say that the two younger team? Yeah. They're still they're developing. Cool. No. They've got the right coach. I know people probably have doubted Luke Walton, but... Well, I, I think even LeBron doubts Luke Walton. But that's LeBron. LeBron is basically the man that controls every team he's going to go to. Yeah. Bar the Miami Heat. He he wasn't the man that was That's because they had a big there. three. Yeah. And they had they had Dwayne Wade, who was probably the senior figure when LeBron was there. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, like LeBron's always struggled at teams mm. in the first season. So, I mean... Well, today LeBron failed to put away... The uh, they did still win. Just that, they won because just. of a monster Thanks block to, from Tyson Chandler. If it wasn't for that block, that layup would have gone in. And yeah, and what a pickup too. That is that was a stroke. That was a genius stroke from the Lakers' back office. Yeah, they've 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 made some good signings, but I still like LeBron last year at the Cavs. He had Love, he did, and have, the year before that he had Kyrie. So that was a big three. Last year had a big two and still made it to the finals. But that's you've LeBron. He's a different animal when it comes to the playoffs. He's yeah. So basically, he, what you're trying to say is that the Lakers need to make the finals and then we'll see what happens from there. Yeah. He almost averaged in the playoffs last season forty minutes. Right. Yeah. yeah how crazy is that? Over, yeah. They played about twenty, oh, twenty twenty five games and he averaged almost forty minutes a game. Yeah. Right. It's ridiculous. He's he's a, un, he's unbelievable. All right, so moving on to um, something quite recent, the Jimmy Butler trade. <laughs> oh. I'm I'm very happy about it. I'm finally ready to just get rid of this. Uh, well, I guess he's. Well, we don't we don't know the full story about why he's. We don't. Yeah. Unhappy we, because there's rumours that going around that it's because he had. Um, well, altercations with Cat's misses. Yeah, and actually today Cat came out and. Praise Jimmy Butler. So, so maybe not. No. Maybe maybe that's not the case. We don't know. We Thought, don't know yeah. any about it. But he's gone now. Uh, he's gone to the 76ers. For Sarich for and Covington. Sarich, Covington I and this, Bayless. I think they've won that one. Um, well, obviously they've won that one. But I think taking into account the fact that he next year he's gone for free. Yeah. So, and he didn't want to play for us. And, and he was losing games off his own, you know, selfishness. Yeah. Just not Sarich, wanting to play. Sarich is... A great player, and he's still in. He's only he's, 23. He's still working progress. He's work. He's a great player. He's working on his three-point jumper. I think once he can yeah. get this three-point jumper in tune, oh, he's going to be I'm a great happy, player. I'm happy, genuinely. And Covington's a really good defender. Um, yeah. Well, the Timberwolves also did turn down Houston's offer of four, four first rounders. Was that actually on the table? That was on the table. Yes. Was, the, was, was that just rumored, or is that guaranteed to be on the table? That because was. That was on the if table. If that happened, that would have been just as bad as the Nets deal. Yeah, with Paul oh, Pierce. And that's one of the Kevin worst Garnett. deals because now Boston, that's, that's five, five Boston. five first round picks in a row. Maybe bar Kyrie Irving. Just imagine the team that Brooklyn have today. Yeah. So exactly. Yeah, I think oh, my, one of my, one of the questions I've got is: Will Jimmy Butler hinder the way Ben Simmons and um, I don't Joel think so. Be? Because the thing is, for me, that Covington he helped to space the floor for Embiid and Simmons to post up and drive in. Also, Covington was their main three-point shooter alongside JJ Redick. So, that's the problem because yeah, the thing but... is also Butler will need the ball more compared to you know Covington, who's happy to create um, space, whereas Butler's looking to create his own basket. But you would argue that you know to see the la- the teams that have challenged over the you know even even over the whole history of the NBA, they've, most teams have had a big three players. And they needed an eight. Then the 76 has just Maybe, had yeah. Simmons and Embiid. Yeah, well. Because Fultz isn't there yet. I don't think he will be. Reddick. I mean, well, yeah, you well, know. Not, you're not confident with him. Like, he's gone through a lot. Yeah, but he's only, what, 21? Yeah. 
So he's still got plenty of time. Anyway, I'm I'm happy with the trade. Yeah. Being a Timberwolves fan. Well, hopefully it turns these two. And, yeah, we'll see how it works out. Because Covington's a dead eye from downtown, so it's yeah. always good to have in your arsenal. An elite and an elite defender. He is. He's, he's so good on lock. He's so good at locking down good players. Yeah. All right. Now we're moving on to your forte, Rob. We don't really know much about it, but I know a little bit. Well, K Dog knows a bit more than uh, yeah, Tom well, and I. Um, I used to play it. <laughs> yeah. No, it was yeah cricket. <laughs> Milo cricket, Tom. Cricket. No, I played at uh, Kuyong. Tom used to oh, bowl... Oh, for an actual team? Yeah, an actual team. Tom, played for many years. Tom bowled uh, my 11. My average runs was probably around 50 to 100. Tom bowled wow. 11, batted 11. <laughs> so he was the tail ender I for was both pretty things. So. bad, but you know I played. Um, oh. yeah. But yeah, no, Australia's in a bit of a shambles right now. Um, yeah. I think I was watching the 20... The ODI. Yeah, yes. that one. And uh, they went... Six for 26 or something. It was, was in the like, space of... Yeah, watching the highlights, that was amazing. Six yeah. for 26. Yeah, they were yeah. like three... Oh, two. It was like Australia. three for 30, and then we ended yeah. up at about nine for 80. So wow. we... Yeah, yeah. I think um, that was the first game. Then we came back and played well. We didn't put up the greatest total in the second ODI. We only put up 230. But that, that was enough for us to fend off South Africa, who only made 220 or 50 overs. Which is probably a very, very poor score to put up. That's a shocking run rate. Yeah. So, um, yeah. As far as we go, the state of Cricket Australia 2 is a massive concern. Um, obviously, uh, there was a lot of star players that, um, that apparently weren't the greatest for the culture. Um, so it's good to see David Warner go. I don't want to see him back in the team. He's not good for that culture. Who's um, he talking about? David Warner. David, no, but who's David Warner talking about? No, this is. I'm just saying. I don't want David. Oh, Warner, you don't he's want not, David he's Warner not good back for in. The, he's not good oh, for the yeah, culture right, of the team. Right. He, I know a couple of players don't want him, and yeah. So we're going through a rebuilding phase right now, as it stands. So what's the next game for Australia? Uh, pretty sure the T20 against India in about a week's time. Right, and then do we have a test against India? We have got India starting in early here? December here, so it's a four. Is that the Boxing Day test? Four match. Uh, no, nah, so it will be in Adelaide, Perth, and then the Boxing Day test match is the third test. Right, So, but it's so, part of the Indian series. Yep. Yeah, right. it is. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll see how that goes. Wait, and so why don't you want Warner back again? It's just, he's not good for the culture. He's what What about the other two? Smith. Steve, the thing is, Steve Smith... He was out of character. Who, who Steve, was the guy who actually Cameron, tampered with Cameron the ball? Cameron Bancroft. But this I is think the he thing. should no, be allowed this back. Is, this is the thing, though. Hear me out. Steve Smith was not involved in the ball tampering. He, he did not have anything to do with that. He was in the locker room. He did know about it, but he was in the locker room at the time when both Bancroft and Warner were speaking. And it's just as bad when you're the captain. Went, and yeah, you're, you're, you're the captain and you're responsible. But, but are the they, thing is, yeah, he, he went are over. Are they banned for good? No. no. Just no, so Bancroft why, why, is yeah, well, how long till they're back? But Rob's saying he doesn't want Warner back. Yeah, but no, how long but, till they are back? Doesn't matter what Rob wants. <laughs> no, but the no, thing, there's a time limit on their suspension. The, the thing is, it? it's well, Bancroft is at the start of 2019, and Smith and Warner are before the World Cup in September or August of like, next year. Oh, good. So, but I thought well, I saw a video of us uh, Warner actually recently. Recently, he looks really depressed. Did you any of you see it? Yeah, he's not looking. He's playing best. local cricket, and yeah, he's yeah, really but they don't have, they don't really have a choice. It's either not play any form of cricket to stay in shape. Yeah, they have to stay in shape. I mean, so. you can't expect them not to, you know, sit at home and just you know doodle around and watch TV. You got to expect them to keep in sort of that touch. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah, but right now they have no source of income either. They do. They get paid by the clubs. Warner's getting paid. Yeah, but how much is he getting he's paid also, by the local club? It wouldn't be much, but he's also yeah. working uh, for as a tradie. They, Plus, wouldn't, you they, take they into, wouldn't cut them off. Steve Smith still he, gets money from New Balance. Like, if you get suspended, uh, you, you don't get cut You off. reckon they kept their sponsors after well, this? Well, Steve Smith... Surely his, not. David Warner Some lost his sponsor. Wouldn't. David Warner lost his sponsor with New... Um, Grey Nichols, but D- Steve Smith is still with New Balance, and he still That's gets ridiculous. money from it. Wow. Ballsy by New Balance. Yeah. Yep. Well, that... Uh, was it's pretty much the recap of three weeks yeah. worth. Oh. Uh, upcoming is the pretty much nothing really for the next week because 
soccer wise, there's an international break. Australia versus Korea Saturday night. That will be. Is that a friendly or? It's a friendly, but it's yeah. Still so like friendlies we don't really care about, but yeah. we can we can talk about you know. Random stuff. Graham Arnold. How they? Yeah, we'll 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 still have a podcast, obviously. Graham Arnold's first game on home soil. Yeah, so we'll have a look at you know how the Aussie team plays. Uh, there's still some obviously some stuff NBA wise going on. NBA's course, all the way through, so we'll have some NBA stuff to talk about. Uh, no cricket. No, pretty quiet this week. Yeah. So. UFC was Tom. What's happening next? Now there is a card on Sunday, but it's nothing major. It's just a fight night. Mm. Right. But there was a good one on the weekend where I think I think it is the latest finish in history. So I think everyone should go check that out. It was the main event between uh, the Zombie and Rodriguez. Yeah, definitely go check that out. Check out the highlights. It was a last second knockout of the last round. Yeah. Was it a what? Was it a fight it an, night or? A... It was a fight night. Yeah. And it was an elbow to the face, knocked him right out. That's yeah. what you want. This, your hardest, the hardest part of your body, the elbow. Yeah. <laughs> pretty it? sure it is. Yeah, is it? Oh. I think it so. Is. It Maybe. Is. Who knows? It's, it's, it is. We wouldn't know. It's one of the, it's one of the <laughs> hardest. My cock. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh. And on that note, uh, we we'll just find out and let you know next, uh, next week. Right. Yeah, we'll find out. We'll find out how hard. Let's Tom's let's penis let's cut is. this off before no, Tom says any more profanities. Um... <laughs> In all seriousness, seriousness, oh God, I'm slurring. Rusty. It's time to end it, I'm slurring. How many views did you have? Um, so, we have started a Patreon, which is usually usually for more serious podcasts, but we're just trying to see, we're going to have it there and we're going to let it stay there for a while. Hopefully we get a bit bigger and then people want to jump on it. There's obviously some good benefits on there, uh, including an exclusive sideline beanie. That we're going to... <laughs> Can I get one? Can I get one for free? Is yeah, that... you get one for free, Rob. I love that. <laughs> what about a t-shirt? Do I yeah. get that for free? No, we're not doing t-shirts yet, but we will. Eventually, we will. Okay, okay. But make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, the website will be up and running very soon. That'll have all the, Check out the, all the podcasts well. on there. Like, uh, subscribe and share. We're in the middle of trying to get iTunes up and running, but it's just a bit more technical than just uploading to the YouTube. So for oh, now... We're... Yeah. For now, we'll just be doing YouTube. Mm -hmm. So, thanks everyone for listening and uh, we'll see you in a week's time. Yeah, goodbye. See ya.